Hello everyone. Today we are going to have a session on how to crack off campus and on campus internships. So here we have Dev Sharma with us who has successfully cracked on campus Airbnb. So we will be uh, learning about his journey and what all things that uh, we should keep in mind when we are like appearing for on campus companies and also for off campus companies. So hello Dev, how are you? Uh, hi Jaskaran, thank you for the warm introduction. It's really great to be here and hi everyone. Uh, so like would you like to tell us a bit about your uh, coding journey sure sure i'd like to start like with a brief introduction so i'm currently in my final year final semester just graduated uh from the it Bangalore for my undergrad in computer science yeah just like most of the audience i believe so yeah that's been uh that's been my engineering so many i started out uh as a person who was pretty much predisposed to all the programming things and my passion was in CS since like the school year so that's how I got into this thing and having mm -hmm. a bit of predisposition to uh, a little bit programming I was a bit more curious to learn other stuff actually <laughs> explore the other domains rather than continue programming and all that thing all those mm -hmm. things so when I got into my college my first year I was very much interested in learning web design, web development, etc. So that's how I got started and pretty much continued that up until my second year. And I got pretty good at it. So I was able to crack a few inter crack a couple of internships during that time and also was participating in hackathons as well. So yeah, that that did help. But when the time came for you know sitting in internships and placements during my third and fourth year, I kind of shifted my focus to learning more on the DSA and the CP side. Uh, I, I would not say CP that much, but yeah, I, I did shift my focus to learning you know data systems and algorithms, and ultimately I was able to crack, crack a good good placement from on campus. Okay. Oh yeah, that that's really exciting actually. It is a really good journey that I heard about. I I haven't literally uh, heard many people who uh, like do DSA on the last and still get really good opportunities. Uh, it's really great that you did it. So, uh, like, what do you think is the role of CP in cracking such big companies? Uh, I mean, uh, personally, I never did CP for my internship or placement. Uh, but actually, I started out CP just after I just at the moment I have my placements are going on so I had like some spare some time to spare because my college credits were not too much so the schedule was a bit lax so I started out doing CP in my uh, seventh semester I would say so my views on CP are that it will definitely give you a certain edge over the person who is not doing CP especially especially in the online assessment rounds where they are asking you questions that are not really very typical DSA questions that you might be preparing for which will actually come in the interviews so I believe like if you are doing CP, you definitely have, have an edge over someone who is not doing DSA, uh, who is not doing CP, just doing DSA. But I don't really think like it's a very, very necessary thing to crack on campus or off campus. Most for the 95% companies, I don't think it is very necessary. But yeah, there are a few companies that will definitely ask you those uh, code forces, 1800, 2200 level questions. And yeah, we all know what companies those are. So yeah, for those, if you are targeting them, definitely CP is a must. Okay. Thank you, Dave, for this uh, like vast knowledge. So like, uh, would you also like to tell uh, our audience about the resources that you followed in your journey and like uh, that would really help our uh, audience? Okay, uh, so the obviously the mother of all resources, Geeks for Geeks, I have followed that, uh, no surprise there. So that was one thing I followed, uh, which is like an immense resource, but it is like a double-edged sword since it's so vast, you can find everything, but it is so vast that you'll find so many things that you might get confused. So having like a paved path to what to actually follow is a good thing. So for that, you can follow different resources, like there are multiple sheets that are available. But generally, just uh, what my preparation was, strategy was when I was learning some topic, I would go to lead code, try out the easy questions first. And as soon as I was able to deal with the easy questions while learning the topic as well, I would just shift to medium questions and continue practicing. So that's how I covered everything topic by topic. And once I was uh, good with that, I started, you know, just randomly solving problems, the problem of the days, etc. So that was my strategy. And yeah, I mostly learned apart from that from YouTube. So yeah. That's okay. that's my advice. Great, want great. To get good it seems like a really good strategy, actually. 
yeah so like uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, the off campus opportunities like how to apply for them or uh, how okay. should people know about them yeah so off campus is a totally different game from on campus placements because uh, off campus you are trying to get those opportunities as well as you know trying to crack them on the on campus and you are only worried about you know cracking whatever is coming next so off campus you actually do need to create those opportunities for yourself so what i would say is try to be active and network with individuals in the industry and that's the one way that you can uh the second thing is like stay active on various forums and like these telegram groups that keep sharing the opportunities and openings that are there and try to follow if you can like if you have like a few companies in your mind try to stay up to date with their like career pages and even like as soon as there are openings try to get a referral or something that's basically what i did for my off campus application so i used to just uh, completely follow all of these people on uh, linkedin and youtube that used to share openings and like as soon as there were i would try to first try to get a referral and if i could not i would just simply apply to them and that's basically how i was able to get a few off campus interview calls as well oh great uh, so uh, like uh, what different things people follow for like off campus what other le- the learning strategies other than those for on campus should people follow for off campus yeah so for on campus uh, i think these might not be so relevant uh, i mean like the things that are basically required for you to get an off on off campus offer is like a good resume uh strong projects and work experience so these will definitely work in favor of you in your on campus but these might not be so very required things during on campus placements but yeah on and off campus you do need to have like a great portfolio and a great resume to showcase for which you know you get selected or you get that call for the interviews so yeah having a good profile is uh, one thing that i would uh, definitely advise everyone to have if you are trying to apply off campus great great Uh, so uh, would you like to tell us uh, the non technical skills that are required for cracking off campus on the non technical uh, that you definitely need to have soft skills uh, working on side because ultimately when you are facing an interview it's more conversation and if you are not able to communicate your thought process well and share the actual things that you are thinking with the interviewer uh he might not really understand what your approach is even if it is 100% correct so though so those are the few things that that would definitely work out with you and apart from that uh an interviewer is also judging how you would be fitting in a team right so you'd need to have those collaboration and team skills as well as uh your hard skills so yeah those are a few things that you can keep in mind you know make sure that you are portraying them and able to uh show those in the interviews as well great that was very insightful uh, so uh, would you like to drop a final message to the audience or uh, any other suggestion you would like to give them yeah so one thing would be uh, if you are trying to aim off campus uh, uh, don't really just apply to a few openings and be done with it i would say apply to as many as you can hundreds of openings okay if you want to get any actual results that's that that's usually how it works and a couple of more, uh, one more thing is that uh, try to develop yourself uh, holistically as a developer don't just focus on one th- one side of the things like if you are doing development just only focus on development or if you are doing cp then you have like no zero dev skills you don't even know get up don't be like that try to develop your skills holistically in a manner that you are a total software engineer like you need to be a complete package for any of the companies that you are you know trying to sell yourself to i mean trying to advertise or by sell i mean you need to sell yourself as in sell yourself as a software developer who is <laughs> capable of doing that job yeah so basically that's the couple of things i would uh, advise you to keep in mind when you're trying to apply off campus and even in general on campus these things do help they will obviously give you a certain edge but yeah off campus these are very very necessary thank you dev those were some really great advices like um thank you for giving all these insights to our audience and helping them out and taking out your time and helping them out uh in uh, giving suggestions about off campus and on campus it was really great to have you here definitely definitely thanks jaskaran for having me as well it's a great time being with you yeah okay then bye bye dev bye 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 everyone